blindness support services presents Pete's Corner number five, Bad Habits. Hello again, and welcome to Pete's Corner. Today, we're gonna talk about habits that we all, from time to time, have had in our, in our lifetime. Uh, for example, some habits uh, are bad. Smoking, for example, is a habit that many folks have. We have uh, drinking as a habit. Uh, we're not preaching that uh, it's a no-no, but uh, some people make it a habit and it turns out to be a bad thing. Uh, lottery tickets represent gambling. Some people lose control and and have difficulties with that as a habit. And then there's, of course, the those of us who are addicted to chocolate. It's good to have once in a while, but we need to exercise caution. Those are habits that we all have. Um, but it, it kind of uh, begs the question, are there any habits that blind folks that are directly related to them. And so that's what this show's about. Not necessarily the habits I just mentioned, but habits that are brought upon because some of us live with some form of visual impairment. Let's take a look. Habits are something that need to be broken, if at all possible, while a child is very young. If they learn not to rock when they're in the presence of other people, it doesn't draw negative attention to them, which they don't want to do. And that's something that parents have to work on very diligently. But one of the worst things they can do is allow their child to continue to rub their eyes. Because technology is changing and they're coming up with surgeries that can help cure some of these eye disorders, children that rub their eyes will not be considered for it because they rub it and they would undo whatever surgeries that were done to protect them. So when you can, parents, help these babies to learn when they're young things that will make them look better in the eyes of sighted people and it will help them to be mainstreamed in a world and be comfortable with all the things they need to do. So take care of them babies, cause we love them. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gabriel and I have a bad habit. I have left my cane on top of the table. It's unsanitary. A bad habit that I've noticed about blind people is they don't always check to make sure that they've cleaned up after themselves. I have a bad habit of putting my fingers in my food, tasting with my fingers because I can't see the food. I have a bad habit of putting my fingers in my drink so when I serve it I don't spill it. And those are my bad habits. One of the bad habits that I have is when I'm going to go into the lunchroom and I just walk in. So I'm walking in and I just set all my food down and just start eating. What I don't realize is that the light's not on in the room. So the next person that walks in is like, hey, you're eating in the dark. So I'm like, oh, it didn't come across my head that the light was off. And since I'm blind, I don't really care for the light. So one of the bad habits that I have is that I tend to not turn on the lights in certain rooms where I don't visit often. If it's my office, in the other hand, and if it's already work time, I will turn on the lights. But other than that, that's one of my bad habits. I have a bad habit. When I'm cooking, I tend to touch the food when I'm cooking to see if it's done. Especially when I'm frying, I'll touch the meat, see if it's done. And my wife says that I should use the timer, it's right there by the stove. I guess it's a bad habit. It's um, 
hard to quit bad habits, you know, like smoking. But that's mine. I touch my food when I'm frying it. Hello, I'm Christine Davidson, and I do have a bad habit. Um, I tend to walk around my home um, in my kitchen without my mobility cane because of the familiarity of it, and I'm constantly bumping into my husband or knocking things over that he has set on the counter. So the bad habit that I sort of have to be careful of is uh, complaining too much when, when people move things. Because as a blind person, I want to put something somewhere and then I go, go away and come back. And when I come back, I expect it to be in the, in the same place. But not everybody lives their life like that. And sometimes things get moved or whatever. And so I think it's, it's important for people to put things back where where they should go but it's also important for me to realize that that's not going to be a hundred percent happening all the time so my thing is i'm always telling my family a place for everything and everything in its place and um i think that drives them a little crazy because <laughs> i'm always like preaching that at them and so i have to be careful how i communicate that and how often i say it and and so on and they have to be careful to be mindful to put things back where they really go so that's my that's my bad habit hello my name is Luis and I'd like to talk about blindism <clears throat> blindism is a bad habit that some blind people do such as I might swing my cane a little too much when I'm in public and I might get a little wild with it <laughs> when I'm walking in public Okay, so a bad habit that visually impaired people need to kick is folding your cane before you get into someone's car. So when you're guided properly to a vehicle, we will show you where the door is. Uh, so we'll give you all that information, but please make sure to fold your cane. I know you guys can't see the little scratches, but they do add up. So, um, and, and do not fold it inside the vehicle either uh, because you can uh, scratch things like the glove box. So just, Please fold them before. We hope you enjoy today's show and hopefully it was informative to you. For now, enjoy the rest of your day. Blindness Support Services presents Pete's Corner Number 5, Bad Habits. Find out more at www.blindnesssupport.com. Contact us at 951-341-9244-3696 BD Drive, Riverside, California, 92506. Thanks for watching.